three, two, one. Hello fellow Rams, you're watching Ram Life Entertainment. We're enriching the Fort Collins and Ram experience one show at a time. I'm your host, Gabe Pokras. I have my top five Oscar moments ready, but first, let's start with the latest entertainment news. Time has finally come. Now, let the binge begin. The highly anticipated fourth season of House of Cards is officially on Netflix, ready for you to stream all weekend. This season pits the ruthless Frank Underwood, played by Kevin Spacey, against his wife, Claire Underwood, played by Robin Wright. Their relationship hit some rocky bumps in the third season, so it will be interesting to see the direction season four takes. The whole season is currently available to watch. Thank you, Netflix. I know what I'm doing after this show if you finish all the episodes this weekend. Fear not, House of Cards is coming back next year for a fifth season. Initial tracking for Batman vs Superman has been released. Deadline reports the film is on track to open to $140 million here in the US and around $340 million worldwide. If it does, that would make it the fifth largest comic book movie opening ever. The number one spot belongs to The Avengers, but who knows, The Avengers may be kicked off their top spot once the Justice League movie rolls around. And Batman vs Superman is the next step to that film. I'm a bit worried about all the characters that have to be fit into Batman vs Superman's running time though. We're talking about Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, The Flash is going to be in the film too. The film has a running time of two and a half hours. Oh boy. You can see how they pull it off on March 25th. In case you haven't heard, Kendrick Lamar surprised us all and released a new album. Untitled Unmastered is a collection of unreleased songs from 2013 and 2014. Spotify had everyone scratching their heads Thursday about it. Information about the album appeared to have leaked onto the music streaming platform. The track listing was posted uh, onto Spotify Thursday, but the songs were not streamable. Uh, they are now, though. In an interview with The Verge, Kendri Kendrick Lamar refers to this collection of songs as a project, not an album. Either way, it's a great way to get some new Kendrick songs from this album, Untitled Unmastered. It's available on all major streaming services. All right, it's time for this week's Strange News. Strange News, Strange News. A unique museum is coming to Los Angeles and you can be a part of it. The Museum of Broken Relationships is set to open in May and you can donate items of significance from past relationships. A short story explaining the item and their emotional significance is required. They are looking for anything. Handwritten letters, old CD albums, even cars. If you don't have anything to do this weekend, look through your room and send the museum your past relationship relics. Be a part of history. Sad, sad, heartbroken history. All right, listen up. This isn't entertainment related, but it's important news. You can help send our mascot cam flying through the sky. Frontier Airlines has kicked off its mascot competition in celebration of adding 19 new airplanes. The winning mascot will be featured on one of the airplane tails. Cam is competing against dozens of mascots, so he needs all the help he can get. Vote for Cam on flyfrontier.com slash mascot contest. In addition to helping Cam, voters have a chance of winning round trip Frontier airplane tickets. It's time for this week's Beer Me, sponsored by the mayor. This week's beer is called Pliny the Elder. The mayor gave the beer a 10 out of 10. What did I rate it? You're about to find out. Here's this week's Beer Me. Hey guys, and welcome to this episode of Beer Me at the Mayor, the place with 100 beers on tap and the perfect place to do some beer reviews. So let's get started. On this episode, it's a, it's a pretty, this has been a pretty interesting episode so far, and I haven't even started. First of all, I will have to say that I already drank the beer. Typically, I drink it and comment about it at the same time. This one, I drank the beer really quickly it was really good I'm really surprised I'm really happy with this beer already it's in a it's an American Imperial IPA or an American double IPA it's 8% ABV the name of the beer is Pliny the Elder it's a Russian River Company beer this beer is very good 
and I think you would understand it after having it. It is very well balanced in the malts and the hops. A normal IPA has a lot of hops in it. Imperial IPAs, they throw a little bit more malts into it to balance out the hop flavor of it. And this one did just that. If you see this beer on tap, get it. The people at the mayor have told me that they've gotten this beer a couple of times and it's been tapped out within days. That's how good of a beer this is and I'm definitely seeing why that happens. As I kept drinking it, the personality of the beer got more complicated and to me it got a little bit more hoppy. Is It's hard to explain but it tasted very fresh and very refreshing. This beer was very smooth, very clean. It had a very refreshing aspect to the beer that's pretty unique. And I think that it made it go down very quickly and I think that it made it go down very well. And I think that it gave it a pretty good overall identity of the beer. So for this beer, I'm gonna be pretty bold, but I'm gonna give it a 9.7 out of 10 because if I ever saw this on tap anywhere, then I would order it. No doubt in my mind, I would order this beer if I ever saw it on tap. If you'd like to see more Beer Me's, including videos that have not aired on Ram Life Entertainment, check out the Collegian Television YouTube page.